Ah, the experimental therapy was effective. Sickles returned to the hideout. Yay! We've cured cancer! My god, I think we should forget about the spy versus spy thing, guys. I think we've got a moneymaker right here. Agent has returned. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours back with some more Phantom Doctrine after an especially successful mission against a beholder cell in the last episode where we learned the power of disguise. Yes, we walked right through a beholder cell, knocked a bunch of people out, dealt with our issues, and nobody suspected a thing and no guns were even drawn. Didn't have to get into any sort of combat, just walked our way right through it. So we'll be looking a lot more at disguise in the future but for right now we've got to get a couple of things accomplished we need to still move our base we're still in beirut even though we've done the mission to burn the evidence in our beirut hideout we haven't actually moved yet which is why our danger is so high so for that we need some money because the cheapest place we're getting to is kabul and that's going to cost us $1,000. We only have 700 some odd dollars. So we need to get some money ticking along. And we need to send someone to London. The plot specific mission is to send someone to London to, well, find a thing about a submarine. And then when we find the submarine, we can find the cargo on the submarine and try to beat the Beholder initiative to getting that cargo. So we need to send someone there. Let's do that. Whose ID is safe? Canasta is. Sickle is. Okay. Um, I don't really trust Canasta as far as I can throw her, but she she's not proven herself to be an enemy agent so far. So Canasta, you're off to London. Off you go. Let's get some time ticking along here and see if we get anything popping up in the meantime. Well, Banshee is back. We lost him in the Burn the Beirut Evidence mission, and just like Canasta, that's really suspicious. You were MIA, and now you're back. I don't trust you. That says to me that you might be an enemy agent at this point. We really need to get the research going to, well, find out who is and is not an enemy agent. So, all right, Banshee, um, welcome back. Welcome back. Ah, suspicious activity over here. Okay, hang on, hang on. Sickle reports being tired and ill and wants to take some time off. What is it? This is the police too all over again? Perform an extensive examination of the agent's health for $250. No. Sickle, what's your deal? <sighs> all right. You know what? You can have a little bit of time off. Agent lost 40 hit points as a result of my decision. Okay, but I, I said you could take the time off. Sickle left, promising to contact the moment he gets better. All right. That, okay, yes, the agent has gone missing. Now, Sickle, we had an issue with you and the whole making phone calls to a priest thing. So I'm not really sure how much I trust you. However, everybody hold the phone. We've got enough money to move the base now. Now, hang on. What's going on over here, first of all? All right, we could assault an enemy base. All right, just hold that thought for a second. I kind of need to move. We need to get out of here. So, oh, all right. Suspicious activity in Madrid. Fine. Enemy recon, assault an enemy base here. How many people do we think we're taking on to this? Ooh, I wonder if we could do a disguise thing again here. I'm going to come back to that in a sec. Hang on, hang on. Okay, I want to see how long it takes to move the hideout. We've never moved our hideout before, and we can afford to do it. Let's head to Kabul. Let's, let's do that. And do we do that instantaneously, or is this going to take some time? No, apparently we just do that instantaneously. Fantastic. So we're in Kabul now. Our danger is way, way down now. That's great. But if we don't deal with this enemy agent over here, that could bump up our danger. Yeah, I feel we've really got to do this assault over here. Although I'd love to send someone over to Madrid to look at the suspicious activity. Although... Chances are it's probably nothing, but I, I don't feel we should ignore it. So who have I got on site? Who's available? Let's just, let's go down the numbers here. Archer is available. Fine. I'm available. Great. 
Banshee's available, but he's probably a sleeper enemy agent at this point. And that's about it. Nitro's in the hospital. Burgundy's in the hospital. What if we send Banshee to go look at the suspicious activity, and I'll take Archer to look at this enemy agent over here? So, Banshee, I want you to go here. Scout the area, see what's going on. And then I want to take me and Archer to do this. So let's, yeah, let's go assault this enemy scout location and make sure now that we've moved our base to the tune of a thousand bucks, we're not going to be jumping up on the danger meter. Well, unfortunately, the guys didn't get over there fast enough. So me and Archer didn't make it over there fast enough. So we did just bump up on the danger meter to the tune of 85 danger. Let's, uh, let's just get those guys home, I guess, and then we'll deal with something else. Colossus is out of her training, though, which is great. That gives us another agent to play around with. Strange transmission. Oh, and it's an old cassette tape, too. That's just a Adorable. I remember those. Those were wonderful. Our people intercepted an unusual radio broadcast. It was addressed to Fender and contained just a string of gibberish. Fender refused to comment on that with anything else than a curse and has become visibly upset. So we're going to want to keep an eye on that and possibly keep an eye on Fender. Sickle contacted us, say they went through extensive medical examination and has a rare type of cancer. He asked for money for an experimental treatment. I'm sorry, Sickle. Oh my goodness. That, that's terrible. Uh, well, oh, why are money for an experimental therapy? I don't know. I really don't trust Sickle between the priest and now he's asking for money and he's off site. Uh, do we have 500? Probably at this point we do. I kind of wish this wasn't blurry in the background so I could actually see how much money I have. Sure, sickle. Uh, yeah, apparently we did have that kind of money. Okay, good. Great, good. Uh, yes, we're making $60 per hour. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I wish I was making $60 an hour. Uh, what happened in Madrid? All right. Points of interest. Informers reveal secrets after the delay. Great, so we're going to get a secret in 23 hours. Good, all right, we'll keep doing that, Banshee. Good job. Ah, the experimental therapy was effective. Sickles returned to the hideout. Yay, we've cured cancer. My God, I think we should forget about the spy versus spy thing, guys. I think we've got a moneymaker right here. Agent has returned after a period of unaccountability. Yeah, Sickle, Sickle, Sickle. Sickle has been cured and became loyal. Oh, even better. Oh, good, because we apparently have the cure for cancer now. Sickle has become super loyal. Yeah, I probably would, too. Your actions have won the trust and the loyalty of our agent. Well, fantastic. Good to know Sickle's in our pocket. I can probably stop worrying about him. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Suspicious activity here. Uh, well, you know what, Sickle? Your ID is safe and you are loyal. So why don't you go scout that area, please? Go deal with that nonsense. A couple of days ago, one of your informers received a package addressed to you. They forwarded it to you. Ears only destroy afterwards. You get a feeling this is a number, another attempt to flush you out. All right, well, what exactly? Oh, huh. You can call me Carl. You've attracted the attention of the Holder Initiative. You'll discover they don't play nice. Your handler is already compromised. Contact me if you want more information. Nice try, Carl. Ooh, huh. Up everywhere we look. That can't be a coincidence. Unlikely. Can I have a dossier on them, please? The dirty stuff, I mean. I know what you mean. Okay, I want to know like Shush Fender. Shush. Quit. Omicron? Unlikely. Kidnap more like. We need to sniff around some more. Okay, well, I definitely want to know more about Cardinal. I'm all, I'm all interested in anyone who comes in with a voice-altering thing. That's always fun and cool. But Canasta has dealt with the London mission. Omicron is nowhere to be found. We asked around his usual stomping grounds, but no one has seen him. Possible the enemy got there before us. All right, well, at least Canasta got some XP out of that. Fine. Uh, oh, oh, all sorts of things popped up in the area. Hang on, hang on. Information comes in from a reformer in Madrid. That's fine. All right, just, just pause, pause, pause here. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. we got all sorts of things. Suspicious activity all over Europe. 
uh, Madrid, you can come home. Actually, I should just send you, Banshee, because you're closer. Why don't you go to Paris? Banshee, you're going to Paris. Uh, yeah, go scout that area, please. And Canasta, why don't you go to Dublin and see what's going on over there? Now, does any of that reveal some more secret documents or intelligence we should be working with? Well, there's all sorts of things we could be messing around with in the workshop, but the thing I want most of all is the MK Ultra facility for a number of reasons. One, MK Ultra facility, because of course. Two, I have several agents I'm mildly suspicious of, and I'd like to know what they're all about, and maybe this is the facility that is going to teach us to do that. So, MK Ultra facility, develop that upgrade, please. And Colossus. I'm kind of looking in your direction, maybe Canasta, because she went MIA. Archer, I'm definitely looking at you. And you know what? Pretty much everyone except me and Sickle. That's the only, those are the only people I trust. Me and Sickle are the only people I trust here. So go ahead and do that. And while we're here, is there anything we want to be, uh, be crafting? No, nothing we can afford to be crafting at this point. Oh, hang on, we found Omicron. We found Omicron. He's being detained in Paris. Okay, good thing we, we sent someone to Paris. Excellent. Uh, break him out and go after the Conqueror Congo. Cargo, rather. Not the Congo. That's a totally different thing. All right, so tactical recon. Yeah, we can still do that. Let's, um, and let's remember to leave someone off-site so we can actually do the tactical recon, please. Banshee, you're already in Paris, so why don't you do that? And we need somebody else... Uh, Canasta, you're in Dublin. That's pretty close. Go ahead and get that rocking and rolling for me, please. Let's get some tactical recon in Paris. Well, my MK Ultra facility is up and running, and I could start interrogating my own agents, which is very, very cool to reveal classified information. Obviously, the key is I want to be capturing some enemy agents. That would really be the goal, because then we can do all sorts of fun things to them, like plant a control phrase on them, or make them a saboteur so they'll destroy the first enemy cell they arrive in, and then let them go on their merry way to do that. So with uh, all the things going on on the world map, I don't think there's anything I want to do with this right now. However, we should probably get something else rocking and rolling. We could expand the MK Ultra slot. We don't really have the money to be doing anything else. May as well get hideout perimeter detectors. That will increase our maximum danger, which effectively reduces our overall danger. So yeah, let's just get that going. Money seems to come in, well, per hour. So we'll just go ahead and get that rocking and rolling. And back to the world map. Let's see what's going on here. Well, we finished Tactical Recon in Paris. That must mean it's time to assault some things. Now, let's just make sure that I leave somebody aside to actually do the Tactical Recon. Okay, in my ideal world, we're going to kind of run this like the last mission is, in that the three folks who are not in disguise aren't really going to do much. They'll be there in case we get into combat, but... Hopefully, they're not going to have to do anything at all. Now, the guy we need, Omicron, is right here. And we've been deployed in kind of an odd manner in that Sickle is all the way over here for no readily explainable reason. And I am all the way over here, again, for no readily explainable reason. Now, my disguise, according to my perk, cannot be penetrated. So I think unless I actually start shooting people... I should be pretty free to just walk through this entire facility, but let's at least start by turning off some cameras. That's a sensible thing to start doing. Yeah, do that. That shut down that camera. Perfect. Okay. Now let's just start moving in the direction of Omicron and seeing... Well, honestly, I'd love to just get in and out of here without any sort of fuss using the incredible power of disguise. But while we're here, any loot we need to be getting... Especially sort of right here-ish. Oh, there's a basement to this level? Huh. Huh. Oh, yeah, there's some loot right there. Yeah, go ahead and uh, start heading in the direction of the loot sickle. I don't really know. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You're disguised. It's okay. It's totally fine. I know you're sort of in a trespassing area, but that should be okay. We certainly did not run into any problems in the last mission where we used disguise. And the rest of you are frankly just going to hang out over here. So what I'd really like is for you to just sort of 
Um, keep an eye on things, I guess, is the goal. So Burgundy, head over there and just hang out. Don't do anything. Don't set up any overwatches or anything. And Colossus, I'd love for you to keep an eye on this window. Make sure nobody's sort of going in and out of this room, because that probably looks like where we're going to take Omicron out. Probably going to come right through this window, and then hopefully we can get an evac right here. Just theoretically, Colossus, if we were to set up an evac. No, that's breach. That's totally not what we want to do. Um, we'll, we'll look at, I think my evac zone should be around here somewhere. And our tactical support in the north... What could we what could we do with that? We could spot that guy. That's good. Can we shoot that guy? Can we? Oh, 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 oh. No, we can't shoot him, but we can get a really, really good eyeball on all of this area. I don't know how much we really need to do that right now. We'll revisit that if we if we desperately need to. Right now, Colossus just hang tight. And Archer, you're also just gonna kinda hang tight over here. And then we're going to preemptively end our turn and really would love to just walk through this whole area. Okay, I'm just going to keep heading in the direction of Omicron here. Nothing to see here. 100% in disguise. Look at that. Just walked right by those cameras and nobody cared. Nobody cared. You know why? Because my disguise cannot be penetrated. Now, you, you had some loot to grab here, didn't you? Yeah, go ahead and grab that sickle. Just gonna have you go around randomly getting stuff. Light armor and look like some kind of gun. Couldn't quite see it completely. Everyone else, just keep hanging tight. Okay, I can get right into the room that Omicron is in right now, which is fantastic. Although with him being on the second floor, I wonder if we can just jump right out that window. I wonder if that would work. Ooh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I should have taken out this guy first. I'll revisit that in a sec. Once I've got him freed, and who who are you, by the way? You're just a civilian. That's fine. You're probably not going to be too fussy. Do we have any cameras? I'm seeing a camera icon, but I think it's down on the first floor. Okay, it's down on the first floor. That's fine. Uh, Sickle, is there anything you can do with that camera? Is there anything you can do at all, really? Uh, nothing around here that you need to be focusing on oh you could turn off yeah start heading over here you can turn off whatever camera this controls that's sensible and everyone else continue to hang tight i think i should take out this guard first before we do anything yeah the sec defender the security guy um because if i start working with omicron here this guy's got a patrol path that just goes right in front of the doors and windows so if we could knock him out that'd be pretty super is there anyone else in the area who's going to be really fussy about that uh how about you down here do you have a patrol zone are you going to no no, what are you, by the way? Hang on, just get out of that. No, 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 no. Come back here. Who are you? You're Volta. Who is Volta? What are you? You are... I have no idea what you are. Are you an agent? Are you an enemy agent? You must be an enemy agent. Are you... Yeah, you're an enemy agent. Okay. Interesting. We should probably kill you. But... I wonder if we could capture you. The thing is, to take you down, I'm not going to have anyone who's got higher health points than you do. I think we may have to just leave you alone and hope that you don't, well, get all fussy with all the things that I'm about to do here. Uh, yeah, so back to the SEC defender. Let's take him down. Doot 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 doo. Nothing to see here. I'm just a workman. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I, I bumped into you by accident. Yeah, I know we can see the enemy agent. Let's not do anything with the enemy agent right now. Uh, we'll dispose of the body in the next round. A Sickle, you were working on this camera thing over here. Keep doing that. Just walk right in the door and shut off whatever... Oh, oh, hang on. Um, There's a guy in here. Okay, Um, are you wicked fussy about that? I didn't know you were in here. I gotta check those things better. Now, do we still have enough to knock you out? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't burst attack him. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Um, how about, how about we just leave? Except there's secret documents on the desk. 
and your patrol zone is going to go over there. Well, I am in disguise. I think it's kind of okay if I'm here, but just in case it's not, I'm just going to leave. It's going to walk in, shut off the camera, walk out the door. Bye! All right, I had Deadpan dispose of the body and then move back into this room. Now, oh, yeah. Sickle, Sickle, if you were to come back in here, can you knock this guy out? No, don't. Why do you keep thinking that you want to burst on him? Don't, don't do that. I want you to just take him down. Do a takedown on him. Why can't you do that? Do you have some sort of ability that I'm not aware of? Protector Trooper. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like I can take you down. But I might still be able to get those secret documents. So, um, just hang out next to him and look very, very inconspicuous. Thank you. Okay, I think the obvious problem as to why Sickle can't do that is because he's at half health. So he's going to have less health than that agent, which means he will not be able to take him down. And unfortunately, he's one of the guys who doesn't have a med kit on him. Otherwise, I could probably solve that problem. I really want to grab these documents, but I don't know how fussy this guy is going to be. I'm going to wait until the next turn because his patrol path will put him standing in front of those shelves with his back to me. So I'm going to not do anything at all with Sickle right now and instead we'll deal with Deadpan. Now, this civilian over here should be just fine for a takedown. This should not be any problem at all. And we're in a closed room. The windows are pretty far away. This should not arouse anybody's suspicion. And then we'll dispose of the body in the next round. Now, who do you see? Oh, you see the guy with Sickle. Fine, fine, continue to see him. That's totally okay. Dispose of that body in the next turn and then We'll see what Sickle can do about grabbing these documents. The backup team over here can just do nothing at all. I'm not even sure if I really need to take these guys in future missions if we're being disguised. All right, uh, give me Sickle for a second. And I want to see what's going to happen if we grab these documents. Okay, so far so good. All right, good. This guy does not seem to have any problem with this at all. So let's just leave. Let's go while the going is good. Let's just get out of here. Thank you. I appreciate you not really caring about what I'm doing. Now, Omicron. Let's release him. That's kind of what we're here for. Omicron, remember me? Deadpan, you're way down the list of people I expected here. That was just about the world's worst Irish accent I've ever heard, but, you know, good job for trying. Good job for trying. All right, so now we just got to get out of here with Omicron, but before we do that, why don't we just grab whatever loot this is, and then I want to sort of pre-plan medium armor and some documents. Good. Uh, Colossus, you can just hang out right there. I'm kind of sort of, actually, can you get in here and shut off these cameras? Is there anyone in here? Oh, oh, I was going to say I should use my tactical recon guy, but I bet, I bet you're not going to be able to. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Do my tactical spotter here. I want to know if there's anyone in here at all. Yes. Confirm that, please. I believe that's Archer up there, if I'm not mistaken. Show me if there's anyone in that room that I can't see right now. Does not look like it. Okay. This is a bit of a gamble, but I'd love to shut off those cameras. So, Colossus, head in here. I know you're going to smashy smashy the window, and I know it's trespassing, but that's fine. Now, how about... Oh, no, that's Omicron. I'm trying to see if there's enemy agents that or security troops that are going to come in this room. Hopefully not. All right, well, let's... um. Sickle, are you still waiting for something to do? No, you already did your thing. All right, let's see if we can get Omicron out of here. All right, in terms of getting Omicron out, I'm going to take the lead here and see what happens because there's that enemy agent Volta who was around here somewhere. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. And then Omicron himself with the world's worst Irish accent. Why don't you... Oh, sticky, sticky, sticky. Come over 
here. Yeah, no, come over here. No, come somewhere. Come over here. Thank you. I know you're trespassing. Now, this civilian might be a little fidgety, but I bet we could learn to cope with that with, oh, I don't know, say, Archer over here. Why don't you just come hang out by this civilian? Not necessarily saying we're going to knock them out. I'm just saying I haven't said we're not going to knock them out. Colossus, shut off these cameras. Let's see what that will take down. Uh, unfortunately, just that one over there. Not quite as handy as I want. And now just start getting out of this room again. Let's just get you out of here in case somebody walks in here. And Sickle, you need to be just marching towards the evac zone. You need, you need to be getting over here kind of quickly because you've got a long way to walk. But you're in disguise. It should be totally fine. So Volta, the enemy agent, has got a patrol path that's going to put her looking, well, looking in the wrong direction is the short version. As I try to get Omicron down the stairs here, he can get all the way to here, but I'm concerned. No, her line of vision is in front of her, not to the side. This is a bit of a gamble, but let's take Omicron right down here. And then I think we're going to need to deal with that civilian that's around the corner, too. Because, yeah, you're going to have a pretty wide oh, range of vision. Can you take this guy down, please? Yeah, I, sorry. Really sorry about this. I know you're just hanging out. But, unfortunately, you have eyes and they work. So, you know, we can't really be dealing with you. Colossus, you need to get right back outside. Just come back outside and hang out where you were before, just in case anyone comes into that room and we're not trespassing anymore. Excellent. And Sickle, where did you get off to? Just keep moving forward. Just keep moving 100% forward. Uh, come around this way. That seems fair and sensible. And how far does that... Okay, you're, you're getting there. You're getting there. I wonder if I should just call for the evac now. No, let's just get through one more turn and then we'll figure that out. Okay, Volta moves that way. That's exactly what I needed. That means I should be able to get Omicron around the corner. I think we're going to need to deal with that civilian. I think that civilian's going to have to go down. And then where does your patrol... I don't really care, but where does your patrol path go then? It goes to sort of in front of that desk. All right, Omicron, seeing as you're kind of the star of the show here, why don't you get over here? Get way out of Volta's line of potential vision. Now, Burgundy, I think you're going to need to deal with this civilian, unfortunately. And I feel we should probably call for the evac site. I feel we should... Oh, the evac site's over here. And I only have one. Okay, I can cope with that. I can cope with that. It'll take three turns to get there. Fine. That's fine. Okay, that's not where I wanted it to be. I thought it was going to be nearer to my deployment zone, which is right here. That's fine. In fact, that's really fine for this civilian, because that means I really don't need to take him out. Everyone start moving this way, please. Especially Sickle, because he's really far away. Everyone start moving in this direction. Thank you. Yep, just keep moving all the way down here, Sickle. Three turns for an evac zone, and the guy who's going to take the longest is, I am going to estimate, two, two turns away. So really now, we just need to kind of hide Omicron from Volta. That's the goal. Anything in here I could be grabbing while I'm in the neighborhood? No, let's not press our luck. We're doing pretty good. Let's not press our luck here. Deadpan can stand right here all day long. Disguise cannot be penetrated. He can just stand here by, well, whatever this is, this sort of shed here, all day long with no problems whatsoever. Omicron, you hang out there. Um, Archer, I need you to just uh, hide that body, please. Can you, uh, yeah, the, the body that you kind of, um, yeah, knocked out there. Dispose of that body, please. All right, now I think we're in a good position to call for the evac. So, yes, let's confirm that. It's going to take three turns for it to get there. And one, and then she moves over here, and then she moves over here. I'm just sort of mentally plotting her range of vision before the evac gets here. And if I've, I've plotted this right, and I'm not 100% sure I have, 
she should be facing the other way when the evac vehicle actually gets here and we can just move everyone into place. So you two, Deadpan and Archer are already ready to go. Let's get Omicron moved up just a little bit so he can get to the evac in one move. And then we just need to bring everyone else down. So Burgundy, just come right down here. And Colossus and Sickle. Let's get Sickle moving first, please. And you can get, well, just get as far as you can get, man. Just crank on along there. And then Colossus, you're going to do exactly the same thing. Uh, where'd you go, Colossus? There you are. Come over here. Thank you. Okay, she didn't quite end up where I thought she was going to. I was one move off, basically. So she is kind of facing in this direction, but it's going to be totally fine. She can't see all of the evac zone, and that's, that's perfect. We can just line people up here. Me, everyone can just go in here. Most importantly, Omicron. Obviously, that's kind of the star of the show here. So let's make sure he gets out. Wouldn't want to miss that terrible Irish accent in the future, but I think we're in good shape. Everyone can get on very comfortably in the evac zone. We are done, and once again, not a shot fired. Another excellent success for us there. Got all our agents out, obviously. No danger increase again, and a little bit of loot. Not all of it, but we got what we needed out of there. Three pieces of equipment, some documents. There's only so much I'm going to press my luck going through the whole facility and getting all of the loot. In fact, with the way we can just sort of walk through these facilities, knocking people out at random with the power of disguise, I think my question for the comments is, is disguise a little OP? Is disguise a little overpowered? Because I could really just have one disguised agent who could walk through everything. I don't even know if I need to bring anyone else at this point. But there's a question for the comment section. Is Disguise a little OP in Phantom Doctrine? But we'll pick up some more of this in the next episode. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. Um, Johnny, you can shoot a thing three times with your pistol now. And I'd like to talk to you about that. I would like to have a discussion with you, Johnny, about shooting something three times with your pistol. Specifically, that thing.